After months of delays, an Omaha icon is ready to reopen its doors for its first performance. The Admiral is welcoming back music lovers tonight. It sits on South 13th Street in the space that used to be the Sokol Auditorium. The Music Hall's first show was supposed to be in March, but organizers have moved or postponed about a dozen concerts since then. And KETV News Watch 7's Alex McLoon spoke to the Admiral about those setbacks. He joins us live. Yeah, Sarah, the owners renamed it since Sokol was a nonprofit, so the Admiral's ready to play its part in revitalizing the Little Bohemia neighborhood. Soundcheck bounces off the black and gold ensemble. Owners of the Admiral are ready to show off this new era of the auditorium with fans of the hometown band Bright Eyes already outside. Anybody who's ever been to an event at Sokol and has used the restrooms can attest that probably needed a lot of work, and it sure did. A refurbished basketball court leads up to the new bar downstairs, equipped to handle more customers compared to the old bar, which is now the nook for acts to sell merchandise. It's basically a new building inside of an old building. So there were, of course, just the, the standard hiccups with the, the process coming along, as well as some supply chain issues. As the Admiral brought its building up to code, shows were moved or rescheduled. Owners say they're ready to move on from that frustration. Once they walk in those main doors up top of the stairs, it's a whole new thing. People in Omaha are ready to see it for their eyes. Uh, so I think she was in here like when she was younger. Yeah, yeah not since it was the Sokol. I mostly remember going to really bad bands as a teenager in the <laughs> underground. Sean says this building, born in the 1920s, will also play host to comedians, local artists, and weddings. With new lights, a new sound system, and new identity, the Admiral overcame a year of obstacles to bring sound back to this corner of Little Bow. And we love being part of this Little Bohemia and the revitalization of this neighborhood. Longtime fans of the venue might remember the space downstairs at the auditorium. Sean says they plan to do something with it to go along with the venue. Sarah, back to you.